started so it's just us two today oh wait wait oh nope. somebody snuck in there so just a few minutes easy spinning to warm up it's nice and relaxed let's get the blood flowing Nice and easy. Everyone continue to relax or continue to spin. Nice and easy. Uh, I just left, realized I left the coffee water on. So I'll be right back. back didn't want to steam the kitchen up just letting the water boil so. oh Tisha's here morning Tisha we're just warming up for a few minutes nice easy spinning Keep the blood moving. No real resistance. Was it like, Tisha's got a sweatshirt on, so it's probably like, what, like 60, 65 degrees down there this morning? <sighs> there was ice on the grass from the sprinklers up here. I think we, it was 34 when I took the dog out, and it's super windy. Thank you. 
right. Now 30 more seconds. Then we're gonna do some low cadence, then some single legs, and then continue our focus on higher cadence work. All right, we're gonna go low cadence for two minutes and go real low. Try to get it below 60 if you can. Pushing this real low cadence. It's a muscular stress. Take some of the stress off our cardiovascular system. Also early in the day, wakes up your muscular system a little bit. It's really hard to ever get it so low that we're actually stressing the muscular system in a way that would add strength. So we can't add strength on the bike, that's for the gym. We add muscular endurance with low cadence work. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Up into an easy gear. Just spin nice and easy for a minute. And then we're going to go to single legs. Fifteen seconds. We're gonna go rear right leg first for a minute, and then left leg for a minute, and then repeat. Two, one, go. Part of this drill is to help us smooth out our pedal stroke, find that dead spot that we might have. Also activate the hamstrings a little bit more on the pull. And get better at getting our leg out of the way. So the other leg that's pushing down, transfers more force to that back wheel. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, switch. The real work for smoothing out our pedal stroke will come in a few minutes when we work on pedaling faster.
20 seconds. Three, two, one, switch. Whew. Focus on like pulling up, get that leg out of the way. We're not producing power here. Just get it out of the way of the leg that is producing power. Fifteen seconds. Five, three, two, one, switch, last one. Twenty seconds. Ten. Three, two, one. And relax for a minute. Nice and easy. As you're recovering, just try to ease your cadence up to the upper end of your normal comfort range. One more minute of recovery here, and then we're gonna go 30 seconds, high cadence, as high as you can go without bouncing on the saddle. An easy way to find that is just get to that point where you start to bounce and then bring it back down just a little bit. And then we'll do 30 seconds recovery. Repeat that a couple times. Tisha's got an audience. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Fast as you can go. Come on. Pedal, 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 pedal. And relax. Nice and easy.
Three, two, one, go. Up, 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 up. Faster. Try to keep those hands relaxed. Don't pull on the bars. Just rest your hands on the bars. And relax. Pardon me. So you use your core to stabilize yourself. Your shoulders. Three, two, one. Don't pull on the bars. And relax. One more, then we're gonna take a little break. Then we're gonna do it again. Two, one, go. Relax those hands, relax your arms. Remember to breathe. And relax. All right. Full minute now to relax. So everything we're doing this morning, it's gonna impact your neuromuscular system, make it pretty fatigued. It also recovers the slowest. So if you feel sluggish the next two days, this is why. Two, one, go. Faster, faster, faster. Up, 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 up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Two, one, relax. So your legs might feel heavy, slow to respond. Take it easy on yourself. Don't forget, recovery is as important, if not more, as the hard work you're doing on the bike. And for most people, if you're driven, the recovery is the hard work because you don't want to stop because it feels good. But we went over. Ready? You go for 20 seconds on this one. Two, go. Faster, faster, faster. Come on, up, 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 up. Go, 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 go. Relax those hands. 
Relax those shoulders. <laughs> and relax. Good job. Halfway through this. And go. Up, up, up. Faster. 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 Come on. Come on. Go, go. Push yourself. Now push yourself. How high can you make it? Come on. And relax. Good job. One more. Last one. See how high you can get your cadence on this one. Three, two, one. Go, high as you can, come on. Get it up there, come on, come on, come on. Push, push, faster, faster now, come on. Up, 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 up. Two, one. Relax. All right. Time for a nice little cool down. Get your breathing under control. Even if you're not putting out a lot of watts, a higher cadence does require higher oxygen consumption from your body. So, partially because if you're pushing the limit of how fast you can pedal, you're really working fast twitch muscle fibers. And they require a little more recovery than the slower twitch muscle fibers. So you're gonna suck some oxygen right now. Good job. Kind of a side fringe benefit of doing high cadence work is that it'll help you stay balanced in that situation where you've shifted too quickly or under a little too much pressure and your chain falls off to the inside. And all of a sudden you're like, Bleh! you're like, where'd my chain go? Uh, this will help you stay balanced in that situation. So you can reach down, shift, get that chain ring, get that chain back on the chain ring, and then keep going. Because you'll be familiar with what happens when suddenly there's almost no resistance on the bike. Good job. I'm not saying that's ever happened to me, ever. I've never dropped the chain to the inside, gone to 190 RPMs in three seconds. I don't know. I've just seen it and heard about it. Never actually done it myself, except for like three times last month. <laughs> so.
did it on the rollers a couple of times. That's a little scary. <laughs> All right. Everybody got big day planned? Gonna do quarantine things and hang out with quarantine crew and listen to some the same music you've been listening to for the last eight weeks and eat the same foods we've been eating for the last eight weeks. Although we did make some killer sourdough yesterday and pickled some peppers the day before that. So. Can you find yeast there? Pardon? Can you find yeast there? Sourdough bread, is that what you mean? Hold on. Okay, one more time. It's okay. I was just asking if you made sourdough bread. Yeah, sourdough bread. Yeah, you can find, because I guess there's limited supply of yeast everywhere. Yes, though so if you need some, one of our neighbors accidentally ordered two packages, not knowing that a package was a pound a piece. So she's got like two pounds of yeast which is way more than she might need for the rest of time. Maybe her, yeah, her lifetime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you need some yeast, I know where to get some. <laughs> You've got the inside, the black market. Exactly. <laughs> no bats or pangolins were harmed in the making of this black market. So, yeah. All right, good job, everybody. A few more seconds of cooling down. Have fun today with whatever you're doing. Thanks for showing up.